Adam C and welcome to a very cold morning in my Cobra. I'm just about to embark on a convoy to Goodwood. So here I am parked up in the lineup. Luckily I'm on the track. Historic cars turning up and quite a nice lineup. So I shall show you some of the cars around. There you go, that's it. He's made it. The best car so far. Look at all these estate cars, winter wagons. Oh a Z1 and the doors are down. Look at that. Normally you're saying the doors are up on a car, but these the doors are down. Look at that. That is brilliant. Oh, an MGB. Quattro. Oh, I was following this on the way down and then I cut off early. I was staying with LED nostrils. Grillo. He's probably as frozen as I am. GTR, 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 GTR. Cerbera, Ford Thunderbird, three wheeler. Ooh. Mustang, Corvette, V61 Estate, RS6, RS6. So many estate cars, RS6. Yeah, tire writing friends. And a winch. R33 GTR. Look at that. And adding to that, his tire on the rear is on the wrong way round. So that's great. Well, look at this Mark III Supra. So I'm now at the exit, trying to be quiet because the Goodwood staff don't often like people still at the exit catching cars leaving. But I'm going to try and remain here. I'm hidden around the corner, out of sight, out of mind. But I'll put this video, if it succeeds, in a separate video for you to watch. And here oh, is a CSL. Mustang contract. Mustang. <gasps> Get in the bush. Oh, Pardon right. Your it's lonely there. Eh? Yeah. You're better than mine. So I've now found Mr. VTS V. Hello. He's come along in his Corrado and Hello. the Cobra is about a mile away, I think that is. So we're gonna well I'm gonna take Sean out in the Cobra, but yeah. I'm gonna be sensible because yeah. it's very Yeah, yeah, no, no, I just wanna damp. experience <laughs> sort of going out in it. You've owned it for how two long? months, two I think. Months, yeah, two, uh, I haven't, haven't been in it yet. Yeah, so. No, no, no. You, so I did ask last time, but it wasn't running right. You wanted to get I it running. Want to get it right? Let's get it. It's good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Right then. Bye. <laughs> Back in a bit. There we go. Layers on today. Yeah, I'm actually 
slip you through the tunnel as well. Right, we're going through the Goodwood Tunnel right now, as you can see. Pretty famous tunnel. Raining, I'm gonna put the roof up on the cover. I've never done that before, so let's see how this works. There's a frame. Uh, oh, there's some windows as well. So I think this is the roof window. Well, that's one of those. Have you got instructions for this? Oh no. Ah. Yes. Is it a tight fit? It is a tight fit. Oh, oh no, no! It's come out. Oh, let me get this side. <laughs> Making uh, contact. Oh yes. We're in. That's actually... That's not bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. That's a flat. It's so tight, I can't get it in. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Oh, no. no. What's happened? Oh, I, I don't know, but something's broken. It's looking a lot more cosier in there already. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to put a roof on the Cobra. Apart from these bits, which we couldn't do because there's something in the way that I need to take off. Which involves... A degree in all area nautical engineering, so let's not do that. So I did explain on my Instagram, bing, as to why I've put my fans back on. I know everyone hates them, but I've put these fake fans back on the car. These are just for show. They do actually turn, but <laughs> not very well. They might do when you drive, but I doubt it. Um, but the truth is, I like the look of it. Simple as that. No one else does, but I do. So that's why I put it on. They also protect the radiator for any kind of stones a little bit more because it was completely open, no grill or anything. So at least I won't get stones going, well, not as likely to get stones shooting into the radiator. So that's good. And that's got nothing to do with the overheating problem. That was to do with a switch that was knocked. And there is a real fan behind the radiator that wasn't engaging. That's why it overheated. That's all fine now. The fans have got nothing to do with that. That's just a fake show thing that the car actually came with. Uh, so I put them back on just to see what it's like. But it's very easy to take like the chrome grill surround off, put the bolts, uh, the fans back on. It's just bolt on, bolt off job. So I can see myself changing it around every now and again. So that's the look I've got today. It's weird having a roof on. I feel cocooned. It's so bizarre. Blows off halfway down the road. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing your roof halfway down the road. Well, we're now going to the pub. Because we're men. Woo! Yeah, baby! I feel so American right now with my Chevy V8. I'm sorry it's not a Ford engine, but I don't care.
Right, so chaps, we've had a very jolly lunch in the harvester. It's a slight rain in the air, but it's all good because I've got the hard top. Oh, uh, it's not a hard top. I've got the soft top on the cabra. We're going to end the video now. Hope you enjoyed it. From me, Adam C, and he, BTSV. Thanks for watching. Slightly damp in the south. <laughs> Chocks away. Chocks away. Chocks Tally ho. Likes the video? Own the t-shirt. Simply follow the link in the description below for this and more.